everything went quiet. Um, there started to be more jerseys, Kobe Bryant jerseys, obviously people just wanted to be together downtown here and just seeing how everyone is rallying and holding each other and embracing. I watched someone already uh, show artwork and there was also a flower bouquet already being, you know, presented and erected right in front of Staples. It just is unreal how quickly this has all come together. Um, just processing this news. And I think in times like this, this is when, you know, everyone unites. And so me personally being a part of the women's basketball community, this is just extremely personal for us as well. I know we talk a lot about his NBA uh, credentials, but he was very much present at WNBA games, saw him at WNBA All-Star. Um, I'm a member of the Los Angeles Sparks and he's had a tremendous relationship with our organization, so much so that my head coach, Derek Fisher, always tells us stories about how to be a champion each and every day based on going up against Kobe in practice. Um, I even remember we saw Kobe, Kobe called us into his private room with his daughters. I'm at the US Women's National Team training uh, competition that we were able to witness and, and attend. And he spent the entire halftime plus and then some about like 30 minutes talking to us about how to understand Coach Fisher and how to compete at the highest level. And it really helped us as players. He was always giving back. And to me, I think everyone, everyone feels it. Um, just being downtown, it's just, it's surreal to see how few people were there when the news broke and how quickly everyone has come together. Um, and I mean, I even heard applause when they showed, you know, his picture on the big screen, right, by Wolfgang Puck. Like, this is just, um, it's, it's very difficult to process, but at the same time, I think everyone is leaning on each other, especially downtown here in Los Angeles. Yeah, so many emotions right now, Shanae. Sadness, but also appreciation for what he represented to so many people in whatever regard that might be. Uh, stand by, Shanae. I do want to have to share a little more perspective here. Uh, from President Barack Obama, the 44th president of the United States. He went to Twitter moments ago and shared the following, quote, Kobe was a legend on the court and just getting started in what would have been just as meaningful a second act. To lose Gianna is even more heartbreaking to us as parents. Michelle and I send love and prayers to Vanessa and the entire Bryant family on an unthinkable day. And, and that is something that's also so hard for people to absorb Shanae, I mean, everyone, we all experience death in our lives from a personal standpoint, friends, family, relatives, coworkers, what have you. But when young children die as well, and especially in this particular case, Gianna, who was 13 years old, she goes by Gigi, a budding basketball star in her own right in the junior level. And they were on their way to a game that Kobe was going to coach her in. And you mentioned the WNBA games, how many times he brought her courtside to see the Sparks play or to go and see the University of Oregon women's teams play. The influence that he of basketball players of both genders, Shanae, and now you're going to have to absor absorb that tragedy of Gianna not being able to reach her potential in the sport. Everyone is hurting, and this news came in waves. Obviously, first Kobe Bryant and then his daughter, and I, I, I don't even know if I should be saying this, but we, our team, our Sparks, were, you know, thinking about potentially practicing this year at Mamba Academy. And that's how committed he is to finding role models that support, you know, um, women's basketball for his daughter. He did it for the love of his children. Um, it just, to me, is hard to process in general, especially when it comes to her, too. Um, when you think about the impact he's had on the game, it's not just what he did himself, but it's also, as you mentioned, for the future generations. Everyone in my generation tends to think that, you know, LeBron slash Kobe are the greatest of all time because he epitomized basketball dominance in the era in which we were born and raised. So um, especially for the women's basketball community, we understand this as well. Um, I was even supposed to be two weeks ago invited to a private WNBA workout session with Kobe. I know there were a number of other WNBA players involved in that se session. Um, I believe Liz Cambage, Kayla McBride, about 10 or so players that came. And he didn't do this for the notoriety. He didn't do this, you know, just to get attention because a lot of times women's basketball players tend to fight for that, you know, fight for our um, positioning. But he saw us, he respected us. And those are the things that he would do out of the love of the game, whether he was competing in his prime or afterward, you know, he, he just cared. He cared, and I think it all stemmed from his daughter. 
his daughter's love. And one of my favorite things that he said, um, a lot of people were saying, hey, don't you want a son? And he said, why do I need a son? I've got, I've got a daughter that can carry on my legacy. So um, totally, totally heartbroken, especially, you know, for the future generation. We knew her to be the rising star, the one that would carry the torch, the one that would rep his name on the back of the jersey. We were excited for that. And it's just, it's just tough for that to be gone way too soon. Sinead, you knew so much about Kobe from a fan perspective, watching him on television for years, and then you had a chance to meet him on, on a personal level as well. What did you take away the most from those personal interactions that you will remember now that he's gone? I mean, he was one of a kind, absolutely one of a kind. And I go back to him inviting our entire Los Angeles Sparks team to his nice little suite at the U.S. Women's National Team event. And he, you know, the game's going on and most people are locked into the game. He didn't even care. He just took us to the side and said, okay, how are you guys attacking this season? How are you dealing with Coach Fish? How can I help you be great? You want to come work out with me? Like, these are the things he naturally did. Just knowing how competitive he was as a player, but then how that translated to raising the competition of everyone around him. Um, to me, it just, it just he, he was one of a kind, one of a kind. Shanae, appreciate the time and also the uh, reporting from the scene there outside of Staples Center right now as fans have made their way to downtown Los Angeles in the wake of Kobe Bryant dying at the age of 41. Again, the Grammys are going on at Staples Center tonight, but it may be way more Laker fans down there by the time the evening is over. Shanae Agumike with us here on Sports Center. Thank you. One thing, Michael, I wanted to mention before Kobe became a Los Angeles Lakers legend, before he became a dream team, Team USA legend. We'll talk more about that in just one second. It all has to start somewhere. And for Kobe, that somewhere was Lower Marion High School in Ardmore, Pennsylvania. It only seemed apropos LeBron passed him on the scoring mark yesterday. That's just outside of Philadelphia where the Lakers were last night with LeBron wearing purple and gold. The Lower Marion School District spokeswoman, Amy Buckman, weighed in. Remember, this is the place that germinated, that grew, that incubated Kobe Bryant into the player and the person we knew he became. She weighed in today on behalf of the entire school district. The Lower Marion School District community is deeply saddened to learn of the sudden passing of one of our most illustrious alumni, Kobe Bryant. Mr. Bryant's connection to Lower Marion High School, where he played basketball prior to joining the NBA, has raised the profile of our high school and our district throughout the world. Our school community will always be grateful for his ongoing generosity to his alma mater, including his dedication of our Kobe Bryant gymnasium and his support of our girls and boys basketball teams. Greg Downer coached Mr. Bryant from 1992 to 1996. In that time, Mr. Bryant led his team to the 1996 state championship. Mr. Downer said that he is completely shocked and devastated today upon hearing the news, adding that Aces Nation has lost its heartbeat. The entire Lower Marion School District community sends its deepest condolences to the entire Bryant family. Our basketball teams will no doubt pay tribute to Mr. Bryant as our season continues. But at this time, as a district, we will concentrate on supporting those in our community, including Coach Downer and English teacher Jean Mastriano, who Mr. Bryant credited for sparking his love of writing. Thank you for being and those are the words of Amy Buckman, spokeswoman for the Lower Marion School District, where Kobe Bryant started his basketball phenomenon as a high school player. Kobe Bryant was one of the giants of basketball, and today on SportsCenter, we're joined by another giant of basketball, the founding member, former owner of the Phoenix Suns, and the man that essentially brought the dream team to the world with USA Basketball. It's a pleasure to have Jerry Colangelo with us tonight here on Sports Center, Mr. Colangelo, just first things first, we've asked every guest from Spike Lee to Rachel Nichols to former teammates like Gary Payton, your reaction to the death of Kobe Bryant? Well, it was unreal, surreal, devastating, and just shook me <clears throat> um, to the core. Um, he was a terrific guy. I had a great relationship with him. And it goes back 24 years when he was just a kid coming out of high school. And we worked him out before the draft and felt that we had a great shot at getting him. The Lakers made a trade with Charlotte, jumped ahead of us in the draft. 
they end up with Colby. But my first meeting with him, he was wide-eyed and bushy-tailed and physical, and he was just about ready to launch, if you know what I mean. And and to watch his career and later on uh, have the opportunity to really spend time with him was a was a joy for me. And a little story is that um, after he scored 81 in the game. Um, two days later, the Lakers were coming to Phoenix to play our sons, and he came up to my offices, and we were going to get together and talk about USA basketball, and I thought I'd put him on a little bit, and I said, Kobe, um, I want you to know that if you play for us, you, you're going to have a different role. You're going to be a distributor, <laughs> not a scorer, and he looked at me, didn't break a smile, and said... <laughs> I'll do whatever you want me to do because I want to be part of it. And boy, was he ever part of it. Without him, we would not have won the gold medal in uh, Beijing. I mean, his performance in the championship game, his leadership uh, from the time we went to training camp uh, set a tone for everyone. He was the first guy in the workout room, and LeBron and others followed him. Uh, the first day of scrimmage, he dove for a loose ball and set the tone and leadership all the way. Um, I had great respect for Kobe. It's a tragic loss, a tragic loss to the family, and uh, the basketball world will be in mourning for a long time. They certainly will. Mr. Colangelo, I want to ask you this because, you know, having followed your career and your impact in basketball, you've spent more than – half a century in this great game that we all love, more than 50 years at any level from ownership to the dream team to USA Basketball. What separated Kobe Bryant? Because you touched Jordan, you touched LeBron, Magic, Larry. I mean, you've been involved with all of the greats of the modern game. What separated Kobe Bryant, Jerry, as we look out at the Staples Center where now thousands have congregated outside of that Los Angeles sports arena? Well, when you name the names you did, you're talking about the the great legends of the game and the greatest, some of the greatest players who's ever played. Um, you know, people have always said Michael Jordan was the greatest competitor. I always said that, that Kobe was right there with him. And so he was not only a great competitor, he was a great physical specimen, but he was cerebral. I think he was really bright, not only on the court, but off the court and to him lose to for him to lose his life at a, another stage in life where he was you know going to do great things in the business world and he was loving every minute of it is is also very tragic we lose him in in so many ways in terms of what contributions he would have made but it was our joy to be associated with him to have the privilege of watching this guy play this great game last thing for you his legacy will be what to you? Um, that is a, a difficult one because you want to incorporate so much regarding what that legacy would be. Uh, I would say that one of the great competitors of all time, one of the great players of all time in the history of the NBA, and we've had great ones, um, a guy who showed great leadership, and uh, appreciated the people around him. Well said. That's Jerry Colangelo, founding member of the Phoenix Suns. USA Basketball has done so much for the game, and for him to have the opportunity to reflect and have the perspective he has on the life and death of Kobe Bryant is certainly something sobering, but certainly something we can all learn a little something from. Mr. Colangelo, thank you very much. For your comments, Michael, it appears as though we are just about, what, 10 minutes away from a press conference where we anticipate to learn a lot more about what happened today. Yeah, again, uh, the, play, the, excuse me, the helicopter crashed around 9.52 local time there in the Calabasas area of Los Angeles, about 45 minutes northwest of downtown L.A. Kobe and his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, along with three others, on their way to a youth basketball game, which Kobe and his daughter were going to participate, going to have uh, some updates from the local authorities there. We'll bring that to you live here on Sports Center. You know, Zubin, Sometimes in society, it's, it's sad that someone has to pass away before a lot of the respect that people feel for them are brought to the forefront. 
Fortunately for Kobe Bryant, we did have a taste of that prior to today's tragic news when he retired mm -hmm. from the NBA after a Hall of Fame career. And so many players and coaches, former teammates, shared what they got from Kobe as a competitor and also what he meant to them in their own respective careers. And it was all part of a piece that we had right here on ESPN called Dear Kobe.